I'm in Chelsea, Massachusetts, where project manager John Rasmussen and his colleagues have taken on the ambitious task of turning this industrial site into a green loft community. They've created a unique rainwater canal design and innovative energy efficient systems. John's team also wants the loss to have their own natural power source so they can be as self-sufficient as possible. They found their solution by constructing a 240-foot tall wind turbine that can provide over 50% of the community's power needs. John took me over to meet the electrician who installed the wind turbine. Steve Thomas. Steve, John Gill. John, nice good to meet, to meet you. you. How are you, sir? I'm good. You afraid of heights? Am I? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> good man. I wouldn't have put this thing up <laughs> if I was. He's afraid of heights. That's who John is? Yeah. That goes on your back. Just pulls over your arms like that. You put your safety straps in the front like this. You can adjust this right here. How tall is that? It's uh, it's 206 feet to the nacelle, and it's 243 feet to the top of the blades. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you all right, Joe? Oh, yeah, no, no. The diaper's tight. Everything's good. I'm all it's set. not the fault. It's not the This wind turbine will produce up to 600 kilowatts of power enough to supply over 50% of the daily power needs of the lofts. I'm ready. Would you like to go first? Basically what you want to do, John, is you need to keep your hands and feet in contact with the rungs of the ladder at all times. And breathe. Breathe, right. You want to go? No, I'll, I'll be right behind you. How you doing, John? You look kind of pasty white. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 150 feet down. And another 50 feet up. This is really cool. Really cool. So I'm right up at the top of the tower, some 200 feet off the ground. And you can feel the whole tower swaying in the wind which is kind of creepy. Now I just got to go up this little ladder here, and I'm actually in the thing that turns at the very top. I apologize for not being a little bit more clean up here. I did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. I'm very proud of no, myself. You should be. You feel the tower sway? No, no. In fact, I'm, 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 I don't believe the tower is. I'm not in a tower. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting in my backyard with pina coladas and my dog, and uh, it's a great afternoon. This is great. I, if I didn't do this, I'd have to work for a living. Finally, we make it up the last stretch to the top. So the blades are right there. Yes. You're kneeling on the big shaft. Yes. I can see the shaft right here. This is a generator right here? This is the small 120 kilowatt generator, correct. And then the big generator is back there. That is the 600 kilowatt generator, yes. You got a propeller. It turns the shaft. The shaft turns one generator and another generator. And you get a bunch of power out of it. Right. So can we stick our head out these uh, hatches? Absolutely. We can get a little fresh air in here and get a little breath of fresh it. air in. <laughs> I think I'll hook on for this one. Holy smokes. Look at this. This is. So these blades are what, 50 feet each? Yeah, almost 50 feet. It's about 90 feet from that tip to that tip. So the wind's blowing, I don't know, maybe 15 miles an hour up here. Something right. like that. Mm -hmm. well, if this thing was operational, how many loft units would it be powering? Right now, about at this wind speed, you'd be doing 60 to 75 units. 60 to 75 units? Yes. So these things can crank out a lot of power. Absolutely. A lot of power. A tremendous amount, actually. Greater wind speeds are why turbines are placed in areas with minimal obstructions. From up here, it's easy to see why this is the perfect place for wind power. I'm feeling power. I'm feeling free, free wind power. Free power and clean air. And clean air. 